Hey guys, welcome back to the Russell Dude YouTube channel for a little bit of a bonus video here. Now, if you guys know me kind of well, you'll know that I love food. I like candy specifically. Now, recently I haven't really been the kind of person that'll go out and buy like a whole bunch of candy at once and eat it all. I'll kind of just, you know, buy like a thing of M&M's or a thing of Nerds or something like that. Twizzlers. I'm kind of into Twizzlers right now. But I thought it'd be a fun little bonus video today. I saw this at a store and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do. So you've heard of these like gummy foods and stuff like that. Most notably there are these gummy like Krabby Patties. I see them all the time around Halloween. Well, today we're going to be looking at this little kit here. It is the E, uh, this isn't sponsored by these people, but it is the E Fruity Lunch Bag. And there are five different types of foods in here. All these are regular everyday foods that you'll see, but they are gummy candy versions. So we're going to try all five of these types of foods, and then I'm going to give my opinion on all of them, and then at the end we'll like rank them. But let me know in the comments, are there any other gummy foods that you guys have seen out there that aren't included in this pack? And I'll run through all the stuff that's in this pack here in a second, but let me know in the comments, are there any kinds of like gummy foods out there that are based on regular everyday foods? I know there's gummy bears and gummy worms and sometimes even gummy spiders and gummy octopuses but let me know if there are any other everyday foods that you've seen gummy versions of but with that being said let's open up this package and see what we have in our lunch bag so let's see here um so you guys can kind of see that there there you go there you go you get a nice little look at everything so first off we have a gummy soda look at that nice gummy soda there's actually actually it looks like there's a couple there's three of them holy crap uh we have the gummy hamburger this is like i said kind of like that gummy crabby patty that i was talking about earlier uh, we have a gummy hot dog. That's going to be kind of interesting to eat. That looks like a good one. Uh, we have a... Ooh, this is a big one. Uh, we have a gummy pizza. That looks pretty cool. And then finally... Yep, there's another soda. And then finally, we have some gummy french fries that look to be in their own specific packaging. Ooh, and it says sour. Ooh. Okay, so which one do I want to go for first? Um... Let's see here. Um, I'm kind of interested to see what the soda one tastes like. So we're going to try the soda. Okay. So I got the soda out. Now, it doesn't seem to be like one of those like waxy like bottle cap things. It really is just kind of like this gummy soda thing. Half of it is clear. Half of it is has soda in it. Now, I'm expecting this to taste like actual soda, so I'm going to take a bite of like the clear part first, I'll take a bite of the brown part next, oops, and then I'll take the rest of the bite and see maybe if it tastes any different. So let's try the regular plastic of it first, so. Doesn't really have a lot of flavor to that on the plastic part. Now that has a, a bit more flavor. That, that kind of tastes like Diet Dr. Pepper to me. Alright, let's try it all together. I'm not really liking the taste all together in gummy form. But it is kind of one of those things where you're trying to capture a liquid taste in a gummy form. And sometimes that doesn't really work. I don't know if it really helps in this situation with like these especially cuz like going off of aesthetic like that doesn't really look like a really cool bottle especially considering it's half full if I went to the store and I saw a half empty bottle of soda and someone expected me to buy it I wouldn't buy it cuz I would expect that somebody had already opened it drank it and put half of it back but you know I, I see what they're going for also I do like that it says I don't know if you guys can see that it does say right there cola inside of it and it does have like a taste of diet dr pepper or like regular dr pepper but you know it's it's all right it's fine there's three of them so i got this second one and then i'll eat the third one and then let's see what will we move on to uh we'll do the hamburgers next so i'll finish eating this and then we'll do the hamburgers Oop, got a little stuck in the plastic there there we go. All right, so there's the hamburger. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Nice. It's got a couple layers on it. We got some uh, lettuce. Ooh, I don't like that. I do not like that. 
Uh, we got lettuce, cheese, and tomato. Now, there's already one thing that I'm seeing. Well, actually, there's a couple things now that I'm seeing wrong with this burger. If you guys have tried the gummy Krabby Patties, you'll know that each gummy part of the Krabby Patty is eatable on its own. One of the problems that I'm already seeing here is that the lettuce and the cheese, I believe, cheese, they're stuck together. And it looks like that's the same way on the other one as well. Well, maybe. I don't know. And then the burger itself is attached to the bottom bun, which doesn't really look that good to me aesthetically if they're trying to make it look as close to a hamburger as possible. Now, don't get me wrong. On the burger, it does have sort of like tread marks. I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. Tread marks. Uh, grill marks, I should say. And then on the lettuce, it does sort of have like a leafy look to it. One of the things also, like this cheese, like I don't know if it's supposed to be like a double cheese cheeseburger type of burger, but that does not look like the right amount of cheese for a regular cheeseburger. But... You know, all in all, it does look good. It has, like, the little sesame seeds on top. It, they're not actually there, but you can see the indentations. So let's go ahead and give it a bite and see maybe if it tastes any better than maybe the soda. My palate is kind of needing cleansed from that taste. Jesus Christ. Oop. Mm. Okay. So, <laughs> that was very difficult to bite into, and the vegetables just came out, even though I tried to bite through them, which, you know, you can kind of expect. It's a gummy candy. They're going to try and stick together. Um, you know, it tastes fine. The buns kind of taste a little waxy. I don't know. I'm getting kind of like a, like a waxy taste to them, but, you know, for a gummy candy, it's fine. Uh, I would still think that... This is not as good as the gummy Krabby Patties, and aesthetically, you know, they tried to get it looking a little bit better with, like, the grill marks and the leaf-like marks on the lettuce, but, you know, just the amount of cheese that's in here, it doesn't really make me think that it's, it looks as good as a regular cheeseburger, um, but, you know, it's fine. You know, you don't really think about that stuff with that kind of gummy candy. But in the sense that we're doing here, ranking them, I would kind of put this lower than the sodas. So if you're keeping up with the rankings, that goes hamburgers on the bottom, and then the next rank up is the sodas. So next we're going to try the hot dog. I'm going to finish off this burger, and then we'll move on to the hot dog. Okay. So, ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, um, so we got the hot dog. Uh, it looks like it's got like some relish, mustard, and ketchup on it. And then there's the pink bun and the pink uh, sausage in the middle. One thing that I'm already starting to see wrong with this, look at this bun. Look at the bun itself. Like, that does not look like a good hot dog bun. That looks like a very thin hot dog bun middle for, like, it, I know it's supposed to be a gummy hot dog bun, but if you're trying to make it as accurate as possible, number one thing that you do not mess up is the bun itself, and that's just kind of really putting it off for me. Like, if this was a realistic hot dog, this ketchup, this mustard, this relish, it would all be slipping through that bun, and it would just slip right out. But, you know... I, I don't really eat hot dogs, so maybe this is, like, my only time ever really eating a hot dog is when it's in gummy form. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what this tastes like, you know? I'm interested to see if it tastes like the burger or maybe if it has its own taste to it. Although I really hope it doesn't have, like, the taste of ketchup or mustard. I don't like condiments. I don't like ketchup. I don't like mustard. Really, the closest thing I get to having, like, toppings or condiments like that is, like, maple syrup on my pancakes or waffles but anyways let's try out the hot dog here um eh, fine what else mm, okay all right you know that's a little bit sweeter than the uh hamburger the bun itself has the same kind of like waxy taste but you know the sausage itself and like the fake relish and ketchup and mustard it's almost a little bit sweeter, so it makes it a little bit 
better tasting than the burger, which kind of all have the same taste of like that, like kind of waxiness. But you know, yeah, I would definitely put that uh, hot dog over the hamburger. So rankings so far are soda, or no, not soda, uh, hamburger, soda. Well, no, wasn't as good as the soda. The soda had a very specific taste, so I would put it as hamburger, hot dog, then soda. So. Um, I'll finish this off, and then what do I want to try next? I'll try the french fries. I'll try the french fries. So, let me finish off this hot dog, and then we'll move on to these french fries, which I'm very interested to see. Okay, I was able to keep the packaging, which I wanted to because it says on here it's sour. So, wow, that is really cool looking. Okay, so it has like a nice little cardboard box. So cardboard in a gummy packaging. I mean, that doesn't really matter to me. So it's got cardboard packaging and it says gummy fries on it. These look very interesting. They look very realistic. Uh, it looks like it's got like, uh, that's sort of like, it's sort of like uh, a sour gummy worm if you ever had one of those. Just by look alone, it has like that sour stuff on it. I think that's supposed to be like the salt, which makes it look a hell of a lot more authentic. All right, let's try one of these bad boys out. Hmm. All right, I like that. That, that tastes really good. Not really sour, but I think for a little kid, this would definitely be sour, which I assume this is what this is meant for, is for little kids. But I like a lot of sour candies, so... I'm kind of used to it, like, really at this point, the only sour candies that really taste sour to me are Warheads, and I'm even getting used to those, but this, this still looks, this looks damn impressive, this looks very close to, like, actual, oops, actual french fries with this, like, soury, like, stuff on it, and then it has the look of it, of a nice french fry, you got a couple in here, the box gives it a nice edge up over everything else. Presentation, I give it a 10 out of 10. Taste, pretty good. Kind of just tastes like... It kind of just tastes like any regular gummy worm. But, you know, in a sense of trying to make it look like a, a actual french fry. I would definitely put this at the top of the rankings so far. But we got one more item. But, damn, those are some good french fries. But uh, it's time to move on to, I guess, the main course. Which is going to be the pizza. Alright, so before I open this packaging, I kind of want to admire it here. It's got some very nice, like, logo stuff on it. It's got the Italian flag. It's got this very nice logo on it uh, with the pizza. And then it has some nutrition facts on the back. Uh, made in China. I thought pizzas were made in Italy. Um, so let's open it up here. Okay. So it's not a traditional pizza box where you flip the lid open. You actually have to slide it out of the side. I don't really like that. I would really like it aesthetically if it opened up like a pizza box, but you know, these are kind of nitpicking points. And then it's like locked in this sort of like lunchable plastic stuff so that you gotta peel it off. Come on, there we go. I'm not docking points for me not being able to open plastic, by the way. Okay. So it's got five slices, and on top of it, here, you can see some of the toppings here. Uh, I can't really make out what some of these toppings are supposed to be. I don't even really see any, like, basic ones like pepperoni. I see maybe onion, jalapeno. I don't know what that purple thing is supposed to be. Do you guys put, like, grapes on your pizzas at all? Or does it say what's supposed to be on the toppings here? Yeah, I don't really see anything. It says... Yeah, food coloring, red, yellow, blue, yellow, like caramel, palm, oil, something like that. I don't really know what these kind of toppings are supposed to be, and it definitely does look like the crust is like the same sort of waxiness that the hamburger and the hot dog was made out of. But, you know, it's all about taste, so if this has like a nice sweeter taste than the hot dogs and the hamburgers, it'll definitely give it an edge up uh, in the rankings. So let's go ahead and have this piece. This one kind of looks like it's got more like tomato, or not tomato, uh, pepperoni with that little red bit up there, which I like a hell of a lot more. So let's give it a go. Mmm. Okay. That's pretty good. 
I think it's, maybe I gotta try a piece upside down because the crust, the waxy crust is the first thing that's hitting my mouth or hitting my tongue. So I'm tasting that more. Maybe if I flip it upside down, I'm actually really gl glad this isn't a real pizza. Otherwise I'd be losing all of these toppings. Mm. Let me try this one with like the green and purple stuff on it. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Comment below. What is that supposed to be? Is it supposed to be like... I know the green thing is supposed to be maybe like a jalapeno pepper. What is that purple thing supposed to be? I don't know. Let's try this. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Kind of had a little bit of a sweetness to it there when I had like the grape thing in my mouth. I, it didn't really taste like grape though. It tasted more like blue raspberry. I don't know what flavor that's supposed to be. And then this one kind of has like onion and what is that? Mushroom on it, which I don't know. Yeah. Doesn't really have a lot of taste to it, you know? Like I said, and also yeah, something I want to point out here, uh, the crust and the rest of the pizza aren't exactly different colors. You know, that would kind of give it a couple extra points aesthetic-wise. Uh, you know, trying all this, if I'm going to rank them really quickly, I'm going to put... I'm going to put it as hot dog on the bottom because having that bun look like that just looks horrible. It doesn't look like an actual hot dog. If the bun was just a little bit thicker on the bottom, I don't know, maybe I just got a bad hot dog in mine but if the bun was a little bit thicker on the bottom it might have been ranked a little bit higher but for that i gotta put it at the bottom next up is the hamburger it's still kind of basic kind of like the hot dog i didn't like how all like some of the stuff in the middle was like locked together but you know it still looked pretty good uh, look-wise. It had the grill marks on it, and it had the marks for the leaves on the lettuce. So I'm going to mark that uh, next up on the rankings. And then we're going to have the soda uh, in third. Uh, it has the taste of soda in it. The only thing that I would say about this that gives it a negative is that, like, you really have to eat it all together. And, like, if you eat it bite for bite, the gray and the clear part isn't going to taste as good as the brown part at the bottom. So you really got to just eat it all together. But still, third place is not that bad. Um, second place, I'm going to do the pizza because mostly aesthetically, it looks pretty good. It's got its own packaging. It looks very nice. You know, like I said, I'm going to have to dock it points for the packaging not being able to be opened like a regular pizza box. You got to slide it out like a Lunchable. But, you know, still pretty good. Had a little bit of sweetness to it. But number one and undisputed winner of this candy is going to be these gummy fries. And not just because it's sort of like sour gummy worms, which I love, but it looks great aesthetically with all this like sour stuff as the salt on top. It's got its own little box and like branding of gummy fries. And, you know, having it like have multiple in there and being able to like taste all of them it tastes really good you know i'm probably gonna buy another one of these and the first thing i'm gonna eat out of it are these gummy fries and then like i said i'll probably just go down the list with that eating the pizza then the hot dog then the hamburger then finish off with the soda because you know the soda for what it was worth <laughs> i wouldn't really go for it first it probably even though it was ranked third of all I would probably just eat that one last. But, you know, cheers to the gummy fries, uh, to being your clear winner of the gummy foods here in this little uh, bonus video. But let me know, have you guys ever tried one of these little uh, gummy lunch bag things? Let me know in the comments. And are there any other gummy foods out there that you would want me to try out? I'm very interested in seeing what you guys have to say. Thank you guys for watching this little uh, bonus video. And I'll see you guys next time. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to finish eating my fries. Yeah, you know what? Mm. Yeah. Wow. That's starting to get a little sour.